me as a coffee drinker, but it's interesting that given what a ubiquitous thing coffee is, do you even know what a coffee plant looks like? That's me at a coffee farm in Colombia. I was there thanks to Nescafe, and they took me to the heart of Colombia, which is the third largest coffee producer in the world after Brazil and Vietnam. So let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. You can find long, boring documentaries on how coffee is made. Its flavor caught in the closed fist of a bean. Or here's your quick and dirty rundown on how coffee is made, so you can sound smart when you talk to friends. First, the seed is planted. It grows into a wee plant, which is nurtured in a coffee nursery. Grin there, Katie. You're having fun. <laughs> It then becomes mature enough to make its way to a coffee farm. About two years later, the plants grow coffee flowers, which then grow cherries after six to seven months. Six, seven months. They kind of look like cranberries. They're red when they're ripe. And when they're ripe, they're picked. Then the coffee cherries are hulled. And the beans go to the roastery. This is the point that most of us are familiar with the beans being grinded down and used to make our morning cup of joe. And the way that instant coffee is made is that beans are brewed, then that is flash frozen, which locks in the taste. So when you add hot water, bam, you've got your coffee. Thanks to Nescafe for showing me around Colombia. I was shocked to discover that Nescafe provides 15% of the world's coffee. Also, did you know that the bean straight from the coffee cherry has a yummy sweet coating? Do say? Jorge showed me, but just make sure you spit out the bean. It's not ready to ingest just yet. Keep it quirky.